welcome back to TMX Brick Notes. I am Martin, and thanks for stopping by. Today I've got a little bit of news, a little bit of info about me, what I'm doing, and I've got a question to answer from my good buddy Kevin F. All right, so let's start with the news first. Okay, here we go. I found this online at lego.com. Your current deal that just started here in February is the Emmett Polybag. It's a free piece of resistance. If you purchase $50 US or more at the Lego store, on site, or online. Now, what's interesting about this is I was checking out this website. Maybe some of you are familiar with it. It's called brickfanatics.co.uk. It is for the United Kingdom. And on their website, posted, well, when was this posted? February 1st the day I'm doing this video. I was checking out some news and Brick Fanatics says all you got to do is spend 25 pounds to get your free Emmett Polybag. Well, Google is telling me that the conversion for this is 25 pounds equals 41 US dollars. So that sounds like the people in the UK are getting a good deal. So uh, congratulations to you guys. I thought that was very interesting. Either way, shop at home or Lego, you can get that small poly bag. It's about 33 parts. Looks pretty cool, coinciding with the movie. You know, the other interesting thing that I saw was it looks like the movie does not come out February 7th in Europe. So if you're in Europe, please reply and let me know for sure or let everyone know in the comments when does the movie come out in Europe? Because here, all, all, all of our posters in the US are saying February 7th. So interesting stuff for that. The other thing I wanted to share with you is 8 Ball Con and the Lego Show. If you're in the United Kingdom, Europe, you can check those out. They, it's a worldwide 8 Ball event. It is going to be held in May. The details just came out on that same website I referred to earlier, the brickfanatics.co.uk. And it looks like May 7th and 8th is the private 8 Ball Con event in London in this big arena called the O2. I don't know what it is, but if you're familiar with London, hopefully you know what that is. And if you want to go to the uh, public sector part of it, that is May 9th, 10th, and 11th. That is what's called the Lego Show. So, looks pretty awesome. Um, apparently in the past it's been held in Manchester. Now it's going to be the O2 in London. So for all of you in Europe or UK or England, whatever, check it out. Looks pretty fun. Okay, the other thing that I thought was really awesome that I saw today is Brick Fam did a sig fig for... Yours truly, TMX Brick Notes. I thought it was pretty sweet. So I put a link in the description. You should be able to see that below where Brick Van did a sig fig for me. And I don't have one yet. And I want to get one. I just haven't bothered to do it. So for now, that's my uh, sig fig. So check it out. See what you think. Tell me what you think. And uh, see if I should make something like that or something totally different. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm in no rush, to be quite honest. Um, but either way, thank you, Brick Fam. That is pretty awesome. Thank you again. Okay, let's get on to the question. Today's question is from Kevin F. And Kevin says, Hey, you know, I'm a mock kind of guy, M O C kind of guy. Do you ever do mocks? And the answer is yes, of course. I love to build with Lego. I've been building since I was a kid. And I've got a mock that I'm currently working on. So let's do a quick cutaway to show you what I'm doing. I got two pictures for you, and then we'll come back and I'll explain it. So as you can see, I'm working on a castle, and the castle is like kind of halfway built. I've got the plan for these two towers in the front, and then a bigger tower in the back middle of the castle. And I've got really thick walls. They're four studs wide. And I guess my idea was I wanted it to look like a very strong, impenetrable um, stronghold castle. And also with the gates, with the uh, portcullis, or portcullis, I think it's portcullis, there's two of those gates that come down along with the drawbridge. So a lot going on right there that's kind of technical stuff that I kind of got slow and tedious on building. But... Either way, it's been pretty fun. It's just been kind of sitting off to the side. And here's a cutaway of what it looks like when it's normally just sitting off to the side. 
So you can see it's just full of junk and it kind of sits there. And in the meantime, I need to clear out some space and start building on it again. But I'm not gonna be doing that right now because we're in the process of moving. Hey, if you got some time, go check out Kevin's mock that he's working on a huge Empire State Building, very awesome. I wanna say thank you to everyone for subscribing and watching and liking and all that great stuff that you do. Check me out on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and Flickr and all that grand, great stuff. In the meantime, I'll catch up with you guys later. Have a good one.